I'm not sure exactly how this is going to come out. Uh, I decided to make this this video here uh, to uh, see if I can help some of my beagle friends out there. Uh, I've been struggling for a long time trying to keep my running pin and little grounds uh, with rabbit train my dog with. Uh, it seemed like nothing really worked for me. Uh, a couple of years ago, I, I decided to take a shot at the wild rabbit. I'm here in Kansas. Not a lot of wild rabbits, but you just can't catch them. It's almost impossible to catch them during the uh, the, uh, the summertime and in the wintertime. Uh, it's, you might you may catch one or two, but I haven't had any any luck trying to catch them and tr and and transfer them to my uh, my running grounds and stuff. So a few years ago, I decided to do an experiment. Uh, with some baby rabbits, wild rabbits. Uh, a friend of mine uh, gave me some uh, some wild rabbits that uh, the mother had had been killed. Uh, got hit by a car, I think, and the rabbits was only like uh, a week old in the nest, a week, a week and a half old in the nest. So uh, I wasn't sure, you know, if I could do anything with them, but I decided to take them. And uh, and did this experiment because I've been told for many years that rabbit would not breed in wild rabbit anyway wouldn't breed in captivity, and uh, that's basically what I was going by. But uh, I decided to take a shot on these baby rabbits and see what I can do, and and uh, so I took them to the house and and put them in a the cage, and uh, the eyes had just opened up. The eyes is just open. Uh, normally, uh, the baby rabbit will stay in the nest anywhere from from two to three weeks. After three weeks, two weeks, two and a half weeks, they leave the nest and you won't see them again. Um, most most get uh, most die. Uh, some uh, some survive. A lot of them survive, but maybe out of six six rabbits, you may you may may come up with two or three uh, that'll survive. And even then, there's still a lot of rabbit because they breeze a lot. But anyway, I took these and I, and I put them in a, a, a little uh, dog cage I had and uh, didn't know what was going to happen. And this is at two weeks old, so I cut up uh, uh, some some uh, apple and I put the, uh, so I diced the apple and put it in there and I, you know, crossed my finger and said, well, you know, they're two weeks old. If they eat the apple, they'll survive. If they don't, then, then uh, you know, they die. So uh, I covered it up and I put it in a quiet place. And lo and behold, uh, after about one or two days, I went back and checked and all the apple was gone. This is at two weeks old, these rabbits was. Their eyes are just open. Two weeks old. And uh, there were six. So, uh, so I kept uh, kept putting the apple in, and, uh, and 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 keeping it in a quiet place, and and covering it up, and and I, uh, they just was eating more and more apples, and they was getting bigger and stronger and stronger, and then I started putting uh, rabbit food in and, and grass, and uh, and uh, I didn't lose any rabbit. After about uh, a month. Uh, they was big enough to transfer it to a starting pin, so I put them in a starting pin that I built, and uh, and I put um, as as close as I could uh, to a habitat. Uh, I put pallets and covered it with branches and everything with these six rabbits, and I put a fence around it, and I put a skirting on it where they couldn't get out, and it was about uh, 
uh, 100 by uh, 100 feet long and about 25 feet wide. And I kept adding uh, brush pile and brush pile and stuff in uh, with these six rabbits. And, um, and I had no idea what was going to happen. So uh, Camden winter, uh, I put, uh, put enough uh, evergreen trees in there and they made it through the snow in the winter. The six rabbit did. Of course, I had to cover the top of the pin up with chicken wire to keep the cats and, uh, and owl from getting to them. Well, the next year, uh, I didn't put any dog to chase them because I wanted to see if they was going to survive before I put pups or anything in to chase them. The next year, uh, I started to see baby rabbits coming from under the wood pile. Uh, so uh, they started to breed. And uh, and uh, and they bred uh, the the entire uh, breeding season the second year. They bred uh, to a, almost a population of forty something rabbit in the low pen. So uh, my wife and I we kept taking rabbits out and letting them go into the wild. Kept taking rabbits out, letting them go in the wild, and we still couldn't keep up with how fast it was breeding. After about three years, I still had. Uh, 40 to 50 rabbits in that little pen that I made, and uh, and uh, and it was breeding. So uh, I started after a year or so putting pups in there, uh, you know, to uh, to run them. And I noticed that after I put the dogs in there to run them, they they stopped breeding. Uh, I mean, they wouldn't breed uh, when I put the dogs in there. I mean, you had to go months and months without running them with the dogs in there, uh, you know, and then, and then, and then uh, or they won't breed. So, but it, it kept me with a, a good population of rabbits to transfer. I even transferred some to the grounds outside where, uh, in the public area where I run my dogs and stuff at. They was just breeding so good. So I don't know. I heard a lot of people say they won't breed uh, in captivity, but uh, I certainly have had uh, good luck with them. And uh, the way I do it is uh, I got a lot of friends out there during the summertime, like right now. I'll be cutting their lawn, and these are city rabbits. They breed in people's flower gardens and stuff like that. But the key thing is to get them out of the nest before they take off because they after two weeks they will take off and you won't see them again. So, so you know, uh, I mean, you may think that they uh, a lot of people say, well, they're too small, but really, all their eyes have to be is open. Once their eyes is open, and you put them in a quiet place, and put apple in there, they will survive. I have seven rabbits in here, and I got some out in the other pen. Came out of two nests. I have never lost a wild rabbit that has been taken out of the nest and cared for in this manner. I've never lost one. And I tell you, I bought this place two years ago, 20 acres of land. I had virtually no rabbits. And, and I've been transferring rabbits out to my brush piles and stuff uh, every year. And I have a a good supply of rabbits now to run my dogs with. And, uh, you know, and, uh, every year someone called me and said, hey, I got a rabbit nest in the yard. Don't see the mama no more. Uh, see what you can do with them. And I pick them up and put them in my, in my uh, boxes and, uh, and care for them. And then I let them go back out into the wild, into my uh, training pen or, or in my brush piles and stuff. So. Uh, just thought I'd pass that on. Uh, the key thing is, uh, if you find a nest, you have to get them out of the nest uh, after two weeks. Uh, I, I time this because, uh, you know, I, 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 I actually uh, seen a mother making her nest and have her babies, and after two weeks, I uh, went back and, and uh, was going to get them out, and they all was gone. So uh, the key thing is if the eyes are open and they can see the, and smell the food, they'll, they'll eat it. They'll eat it 
uh, but they have to be. You have to be quiet. You can't let kids play with, around them. You can't let kids play with them. You have to keep them in a place where it's extremely dark and quiet. And once they start to eat, then uh, the, there's no more danger. They will. They will survive. They will survive, and uh, there's nothing special you have to do for these rabbits. It's just feed them some apple, and once they start eating that apple, you get green grass, and then you go down to Orchard or one of the pet stores and get some rabbit food and put in there. But you do want to let them go. You can't keep them as a pet forever because then they they won't be able to take care of themselves. And my thing is, when they get strong enough and can can get away from a beagle and give them a good chase, I put them out there in the wild. Was it my starting pen or out in the brush pile? And let them care for themselves. Don't try to keep them in a room or something and keep them as a pet rabbit because uh, that will not work, I'm almost certain. But as you can see, these rabbits are only like three weeks old. Three weeks old. I mean, they came out of the nest uh, last week. Last week, and they already eating rat uh, apple. By tomorrow morning, all that apple you see in the box will be gone. So a good way to uh, stock and store and supply your, your training grounds and, uh, uh, you know, without a lot of work. Uh, uh, I have never went through a spring or summer when the rabbits is breeding that someone didn't call me and say, hey, we, we found a nest. And, uh, and um, you know, uh, nine times out of ten, uh, Again, if they stay in the nest, uh, uh, you know, uh, especially during the springtime when the flood and the rain and stuff, uh, they could get flooded or whatever. But I, I, I'm, I'm, I kind of like uh, um, take care of them if they give them to me and uh, and I put them back out there. But uh, I've never lost one in this way. But you have to make sure that you got small enough wire when they're small that they can't get through that because uh, chicken wire is too big. Uh, and if you notice, I got uh, ain't square wire here, but I got it uh, coated with, uh, uh, protected with another small wire so they couldn't get through. And uh, once they get strong, they will try to get out and move on you. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I hope it helps someone who's, uh, I noticed a lot of videos uh, that uh, uh, some of my hunting buddies out there that uh, subscribe to my YouTube is using uh, uh, a pet rabbit to start their dogs and stuff with, and that's great. But I know you would certainly love to have uh, in your starting pen a rabbit that could give your dog, your pup, a good chase uh, after, you've, after he's played around with that pet rabbit for a while. And uh, if that's the case, then this is the way you want to go. You don't have to buy any rabbits, you, you know, and uh, you can actually supply your own uh, uh, starting pen with, with your own rabbits uh, during, the, during the springtime if you do it my way. Uh, just take your time, look around, and, and watch these city rabbits. Uh, they're all, all over in the city and people flower beds and stuff. They shoot them, they get rid of them because they eat their plants and stuff. Just tell them to keep an eye out for you. And uh, let them know that if you find a nest, give me a call. Give me a call. Don't be afraid to, uh, to take it on. Uh, you know, take them home and put them in, like, again, like I said, in a dog crate or something. Cover it up, throw some apple in there. And, 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 and it's no problem catching them out of the nest. Because the nest is right on top of the ground, and they will not uh, uh, run at two weeks. You can just cough them in your hand real gently and put them in there, and, uh, and uh, you're home free. So, okay, I thought I'd share that with you guys out there. Uh, a little farm beagle in Kansas. I'm the beagle man, and, uh, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of talking, and I know people... I've made a lot of videos, and, uh, and uh, you know, a lot of people don't know uh, who I am, but uh, I do have a lot of videos online, and anytime I catch something real good, I'll pass it on to the vegan world, like I'm doing right now. Last year, I put out a, a rabbit cleaner that I made, 
and uh, and uh, it worked pretty good for me. And this little thing here, uh, when we in the field out there, it helped us quite a bit, uh, keeping our rabbit clean and, uh, and 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 cleaning it up and everything. I put it out there and I passed it on. I appreciate it. if you got something good and uh, it's a good idea, pass it on to me. You know that's uh, that's the way uh, that's the way I do. I would love to hear about it, especially on the on the care and training of my hound. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I've been beagling a long time, and I learned from a lot of old old uh, beaglers on how to care, pick, and uh, look for a hound. I get something from every one of you guys' web uh, 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 website when I look at it. I love to watch them. I love to watch uh, Benson's site. I love to watch Daniel. I like to watch a sky view. Uh, I like to watch your hounds run. And I, and I look for things the way you do it. See if it worked for me. Uh, and that's what, uh, that's what make, uh, that's what make low form uh, beagles uh, uh, strive to be better. I run Ware Creek Hounds, strictly Ware Creek, uh, out, of, uh, out of Little Red Kennel in uh, Missouri. And uh, you know, they hard hunting hounds, and I switched to that about uh, five years ago. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. I love, I love World Creek. I love the way the hounds hunt. I love the hard hunt. And uh, I got some good hounds. So, um, yeah. So, uh, just thought I'd pass that on to you. I want to say, uh, uh, God bless you. Have a great uh, summer. And, uh, can't wait to get started uh, next year um, when the run is on. Little Farm Beagle, Louisiana Beagle Band. Look at my webpage, look at my video. Let me know if I can help you with anything. We love y'all out there, okay? God bless you. Thank you.